So, there yeah. are a lot of popular food trends right now. Gluten-free, mm -hmm. vegan, paleo, raw, and more, of course. Yeah, and if you think those are types of foods that you can't get good taste from, think again. In Shelby Township, there is a restaurant that caters to all kinds of specific diets. That's right, and this being Friday, and if you're observing Lent, you may want to try <clears throat> some place that has good alternatives to fish. Yeah. Why not go vegetarian? Our Michelle Oliver takes us to the clean plate to dine in the D. Fresh, casual, and vegetarian. That's the motto here at The Clean Plate. I've been a vegetarian for 18 years. For owner Amber Pupor, vegetarianism is more than her diet. It's her passion. For me, it, it just really was a no-brainer. I finally had energy, and I had never realized that I could actually feel that way because how I was raised was all processed foods. Her goal is not to focus on labels like vegan or vegetarian, but to get everyone eating healthier, fresher, more plant-based foods. I started doing educational classes, I do corporate events. I integrate a lot with the public and I just try to give people really simple tips on how to implement plant-based eating into their daily life. All her menu items can be prepared vegan and gluten-free. She can often make dishes raw or paleo-friendly as well, including a lot of the desserts. Plus, she is always willing to share her recipes. It's not about you know, us losing business. It's about supporting the community, and therefore the community supports us. But for all those skeptical meat lovers out there, how do you make vegetarian food appetizing? For me, it's, it's been all about creating vegetarian options, but that have a lot of flavor, that have great texture. You know, the way we cut every vegetable makes a difference because if we don't provide a product that's somewhat comforting and recognizable, people are going to be really standoffish to it. To see what she means, we went into the kitchen to make a Thai pasta salad. For the Thai pasta salad, we start with a base. We have marinated mushrooms. They're marinated with a little bit of toasted sesame oil, some tamari mirin, which is a rice vinegar. And those are marinated overnight. And then we're going to put our thinly sliced bell pepper and our red cabbage. We're going to saute that down a little bit. Now we're going to add our Thai peanut dressing. And when you cook the dressing, it does change the flavor a little bit. So it adds a nice balance of all the spices in the dressing. And of course, we make all of our dressings in-house from scratch. Now, for the noodle part of this dish, get this. They don't use typical noodles. Instead, they use zucchini. And they make it into noodles using this machine. You want to press this end in first. Okay. And then slide that to kind of make sure it's holding in place. And then you're literally just going to spin. And you'll see, it, it reminds me of a Play-Doh machine when I was a kid. Yeah, that's what I was just <laughs> going to say. I was going to say, yeah. like, like the little kids. It's a lot of fun, right? Yeah. Awesome. I want to read them childhood. <laughs> they top the zucchini noodles with the peanut dressing and the sautéed veggies. To finish the dish, they sprinkle on some fresh carrots, scallions, and an avocado. The biggest response when people come in is, I can't believe how fresh it tastes. Joining us is Amber Pupor, owner of the Clean Plate in Shelby Township. Thank you for being yeah, here. Thanks for having you. me. How is your restaurant being received? Because everyone knows someone who's vegan or eat, doing raw. How, how, how are people responding? Absolutely. And actually, um, on, in Macomb County, we've really had success with gluten-free. Mm -hmm. um, okay. It's been a huge draw for us. And we're located right in front of Lifetime Fitness, which couldn't be more perfect. Oh, so yeah. we actually have a partnership yeah. with them, which goes really well. Nice. Beautiful. So what are we going to make today? What's the story? We are going to make a raw chocolate or cacao avocado pudding. And it's a great way to get fruit into a, you know, a healthy dessert and a great way to you know, get kids to eat pudding. And everybody seems to love it. You could put chocolate with an avocado. Come on. Absolutely. This is great. Kind of delicious. All so, right, so what do we do? I hear you have some incredible knife skills. So <laughs> I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you help with this avocado okay. here. And um, you, know, you always want to make sure you remove that little pit because we don't want that in there. All right. So, so the, what's the trick? You just were showing I'm us cheating. before. You go she around the. Well, the trick is I go around twice. Okay. Um, so that way you can get it into quarters, mm -hmm. and then it's really easy to just peel the skin off. Um, a lot of people will use a spoon. 
I do thousands and thousands of avocado, as you can imagine, vegetarian sure. establishments. So sure. we're so all about pick up speed. The little brown part, or is that not a big deal? You know, it's honestly, with deal, the pudding, right? because it's going to be chocolate, I wouldn't even worry about it. Okay. Sometimes Great. the brown can add a little bit of a bitter flavor, but okay. typically you won't notice. So okay. I'll just keep on cutting these. Yeah, so we're going to start with our avocados. One thing that I do recommend is the cacao powder is kind of messy, mm -hmm. if, especially mm -hmm. in the blender. So I recommend putting that in the blender first. Oh, okay. we're going to have the you entire do that amount. Chocolate. You can put the whole thing in there. There's okay. about a half a cup there. Okay. And see how it kind yeah, of right, clips up there, right. so you want to avoid that. Uh, what we're also going to add in is I have a little mixture here of coconut oil, pure vanilla extract, and some sea salt. Okay. And you don't need the coconut oil. It's a little bit expensive. All it really does is add a little bit of a sheen. Okay. It's a visual thing, but you don't need it for flavor. Yeah. Uh, we have some pure Michigan maple syrup. This is okay. about three quarters of a cup. Whoa. So we're going to put that in. Whoa. Anything local, I'm all about it. Yep. You know, I go to the farmer's markets constantly. Farm the we have, table, right? You know, Farms that work with us direct. And then I have here two different types of milk. This is an almond milk that we make raw in house from scratch, no additives. Mm -hmm. But most people don't have time for labor. So always feel free to shortcut. This is a coconut milk. You can purchase coconut milk, almond milk, oat milk, rice milk, you name it. Gotcha. Um, How about cashew milk? Is that cashew milk? Cashew milk is new. Yeah, I keep yeah. forgetting that it exists. Uh, we do recommend adding it slowly because avocados vary in size. As you can see, mm -hmm. these are a little bit larger. Mm -hmm. And we had four large ones here today. So you would just put all your avocados in. There's a little brown there. And I'll be your Would you like so to do one? Yeah, sure. See how easy so, it peels so it's off. Be all four avocados are going yep. in. Yep. Right? You put them all in, and oh, this is awesome. We won't bore everybody with. Take that out. Every avocado. Okay. Boop. And the wonderful thing about the cacao, which a lot of people don't know, is that Prep cacao is um, it's raw chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, the actual name of the chocolate tree, because it does grow on a tree, mm -hmm. is Theobroma cacao. Cacao is the highest source of antioxidants on the planet. Mm -hmm. And most people are familiar with cocoa, which right. actually is a roasted form of the cacao bean. So right. we prefer to use raw ingredients. The maple mm -hmm. syrup, of course, is not raw, but it's a lot That's better okay. than cane sugar. Okay. And on the recipe, it recommends that you slowly add in about a quarter cup of milk at a time. Mm -hmm. And the okay. reason is, is because of the varying size of the avocado, you don't want it to come out too liquidy. So all you're going to do at this point is you're literally going to blend up all of the ingredients. Now, one thing I love to tell people is you don't need a fancy $400 blender. I was just going to say, blender. do you need a Vitamix? Yeah. Okay. No, you yeah. don't. And what I recommend for people who do not have, I had a $30 blender for you know, my whole life up until recently is, mm -hmm. you know, put your lid on, turn it on, and then always remove the blender off the base. You'll just take your lid off, use a spatula, and move everything around. Because mm -hmm. you have a lot your, of powder in there, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And once, you know, this, this is called a tamper. That helps move everything around for you. But when you have just a normal blender, you just have your spatula. Mm -hmm. So you might need to increase your liquid a little bit to get that, you know, nice sure. kind of funnel mm -hmm. in the blender. Mm -hmm. uh, so you don't need the fancy utensils. Okay. And I'm not going to blast the noise here. And the here. finished okay. product is going, yeah. The finished product this? is right here. We yes. have on um, some for each of you. It's coming out this oh, dark, just you. as it looks. Yes, that's exactly how it's going to look. And you'll notice on the top, I brought um, some cacao nibs, which is another part of the cacao oh, bean. Oh, this is crazy. Good. Um, wow. Yeah, and so what you have in there, though, is you've got, all, you've got good fats. Mm -hmm. Because exactly. you're deriving the milk from nuts, you've got the avocados, right? Yep. Amber. Oh, Amber, come on. A plus. I've had a lot of avocado pudding. This is right yeah. up there. Awesome. Top notch. Thank you so Very much. Cool. Thank you.